Hi, Eames here, and today we're going to do my raid of Bionicle for the Legend Reborn. So basically, this is somewhat on the later half of the 2009 storyline. And of course, made by a different studio B, Universal and Tenzel Town, or maybe Kenzel Town 2. So I guess to start off with the plot or the story, I thought it was pretty good. I thought it was pretty good. Or that case, great. Like I, it was really great getting to know Mon Nui's character after he'd been kicked out of his own body by Makuta Teradax and how it started off from where 2008 left off and and though it was kind of I thought it was great to see him make some friends with some of the Gatorian and one of the Agori. Though, with how Mez was a traitor all along, yeah. Should have been Malum, because why? He's a Gatorian manager. Why would you be like, I'm sick and tired of people doing this to me? Now it's time for some revenge. <laughs> like seriously, I don't get it. That was kind of pointless. But still. And the animation I thought was pretty good. Due to how they look, made them look just like this says, and I guess it's much better so that way people would recognize which character is which. Yeah, much better. Whereas the last three films focused more on making them look realistic. But still somewhat having some features to tell, so that way they can tell which, who is who. Yeah. So yeah. 16 points. Well, the voice acting, I thought, was pretty good. Like, or in that case, great. Like, I kind of give it an 8 out of 10. Like, how my knew he was voiced by this, by Michael Gorn, one of the, the same guy who acted as that one character, and, and Star Trek, and a car being voiced by Jim Cummings. And, of course, Barrett's voiced by James Arnold Taylor, the same guy who voiced Obi-Wan, Kenobi, and Star Wars The Clone Wars. Yeah. So, 24. And, the characters, though, I thought they were alright, or pretty, or good. I thought they were alright, or you know what? Like, I thought they were all right. Like, at least with Mata Nui, Rash, Akar, some of you worry, but... But, there is, of course, Barracks and Kina, which not very many people like. 
and how they find them very annoying, even though that's only their opinion on my and Tuma, due to how he's not at all quite the brightest bulb on the Christmas tree. Just like one of the main villains for the previous movie, Sidorak. So, 31. And the ending, uh... Yeah, I thought it was... I thought it was okay, but not... But... But the... Due to it having a cliffhanger... No, as we all know, Bionicle got... G1 got cancelled the following... Year... So yeah, so it was a little bit... Depressing... Of a depressing way to... End it. But still, I thought it was okay. So 37 out of 50. Or in that case, 74 percent. <gasps> Basically as good as Legends of Metro Nui. Ah, uh, yes. So I guess overall, I thought it was an alright movie. Despite many people, like, despite people saying that it was considered to be the weakest or the worst out of all four of them. But I don't think so. So meaning that Web of Shadows and And Max of White, I thought we were okay, we're all right here. Yeah. But anyway, if you enjoy this video, leave a like. And subscribe if you're new here and if you and this is your bit and this is the first video that I made that that if you watch, click, don't forget to click the red subscribe button. I'll be back, hopefully, sometime later with another video, but for 